Hello everyone, this is Shepard from Kegger, and I'm here with Falnor from Panerja, and uh, we've been playing around a little bit with the remote control block and the autopilot that just came out in the new release, so uh, we started thinking, hmm, I wonder if you could use this for auto docking. So uh, Falnor, I'll go ahead and let you take it from here. Thanks Shepard. So guys, what we've really done here is we've set up two waypoints. We've got one on approach and one as a final. And uh, we've taken just one of my old ships here. Any ship that you have really could work, so long as it's mainly cylindrical. And tube launched type ships tend to work the best. Uh, it does need to have a connector here on the back. That's important. And when you're getting ready to place your remote, con remote control block, you need to face that backwards. That's very important uh, just to make this whole setup work. So what we've done is, if I can jump in the ship here real quick, let me get everything turned on. I'm going to go ahead and fly out here past my first waypoint. So, you would fly your ship in, you would kind of sort of line it up, it doesn't have to be exact, that's the beauty of this setup. But what you would do is you would come out here, and then with our approach waypoint set up first, we would go ahead and activate autopilot, and you'll see my ship move towards that. It will reach that waypoint, line up with the final waypoint, makes a nice straight approach, comes in, it gets close to the connector block, you see everything turn yellow, and then it activates a timer block, it's on a two second delay, that connects and then turns off all of your systems. So this is now an effective auto dock ship. Pretty impressive. I mean, now what you can do is basically, and we were talking about this with other ships, larger ships, if we put the remote control block in a standard location, on our ships, your uh, control tower, so to speak, of a station could give you a single GPS point and say, okay, set your auto dock to go here, and it would line your ship up perfectly with the landing pad. There's no more of this trying to figure out where the edge of your ship is anymore. You just turn it on, go, and land. Voila. So uh, That's right, Shep, and you could even set up different waypoints the station could. And so the ship that's docking doesn't even necessarily have to have those waypoints like you're saying. The station sends those to the ship. Uh, it would be two, a set of two coordinates, and then you would input that in your remote control block, and those would be specific waypoints to a certain docking port. So you could have multiple ports with multiple waypoints for each one, have them all labeled accordingly, and so your air traffic controller can see all of those and then can shuttle uh, all of the traffic where it needs to go. Um, this would also cut down on any accidents that happen during docking procedures at busy ports. Well, that pretty much concludes our autopilot demonstration here, and uh, look forward to seeing what some other people make. And, uh, well, this is Shepard from Kegger. And Falnor from Panerja and DSN. And we thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later.